Hi, and welcome to Bidlam Web. My name is Jeremy Thornton, and I'd like to talk to you about our fantastic sales coming up at the end of January. On Thursday the 29th, we'll be selling jewellery and silver, some sporting memorabilia, coins and juvenilia. And on Friday, we're going to have our art sale, antiques, ceramics, and military, and of course some furniture. And I've selected a couple of items which I want to talk to you about, which are coming up on our Friday sale. I've got some items of Ruskin uh, next to me here. Now, Ruskin Pottery is only about five or six miles up the road from Bidlam Webb. Ruskin Pottery is world famous for its glazes. It was founded in 1898 uh, by Edward Taylor, and it was his son, Halson Taylor, who worked so wonderfully well in these glazes. He managed to mimic some of the glazes from the 13th and 14th century Chinese glazes to make these impressive high fire glazes I have here, but also the souffle, which is a softer, more misty look, as well as the lusterware, which people see, which has a slightly more metallic look to it. And they were just beautiful, beautiful designs. And in Birmingham, at Bidlam Web, we see an awful lot of Ruskin, and uh, we have a, a collection of nearly 40 to 50 items selling on the 30th. And I've also selected for you a very unusual picture of old Birmingham and shows Aston Hall in the distance. And on the picture you'll see a railway line which shows an early loco pulling um, some carriages and also the industrial site. This whole scene depicts Birmingham and the Aston area around about the 1850s, as I said, based on the uh, development, which is very limited apart from the railway line. Nowadays, of course, it's a very highly industrialised and developed part of the city. In fact, just a mile or two from the city centre. But in those days, it was open fields practically. Well, that's enough from me. I'd like to introduce you to Catherine, our picture expert, and Jen, our jewellery expert, and they'll be talking about some items which attract them in our forthcoming sales. One of our star lots for January is a painting by Edgar Hunt. As you can see, it's quite a different feel and subject matter to his usual farmyard scenes. In fact, this is one of Hunt's very early works, being painted in 1896, when Hunt was just 20 years old. It will go on sale with an estimate of 10 to 12,000 pounds. He was very popular and sought after for commissions in his day, and is still in demand by avid collectors. Another one we have on offer is a watercolour by local artist David Cox Jr. Like his father before him, Cox was one of the most successful Birmingham watercolourists of the 19th century. Although the watercolour of Aston Hall we have here is unsigned, it is undoubtedly the work of David Cox Jr. It has excellent provenance coming from the boardroom of IMI PLC offices. A bargain at four to six hundred pounds, this painting is a piece of local history in both subject matter and artist, as well as where it was hung before it came to Bidlam Webb. This portrait of a young boy in tartan dress with riding crop is a fantastic example of mid-19th century portraiture. We've dated this painting to the 1850s from both the costume and the style of composition showing the sitter in a vast landscape. The depiction of boys in dresses was not uncommon for this period, and with the cropped hair, the sitter is most likely a young boy, despite the initial first impressions. From our jewellery section, I have chosen to show you two completely different rings that we have up for auction on the 29th of January. First we have an early 20th century diamond ring, in a typical style carried over from the Victorian and Edwardian periods. This is the sort of ring that would have been worn daily, and this is a very fine example. The five diamonds have plenty of fire and wouldn't look out of place in a modern-day jewellery collection. The other ring is a contemporary 14-carat white gold diamond solitaire. The round, brilliant cut diamond is approximately three carats in weight. In terms of diamonds, this is a fantastic size, as the larger carat weights are rarer, as they are more difficult to extract from the ground. This is a serious piece of jewellery and would sit pride of place in any jewellery collection. Look forward to seeing you at the auction on Thursday the 29th or the 30th. For viewing times, please go to our website where you'll see hundreds, literally almost thousands of images of the beautiful lots coming up on those two days. Go to our website www.bidlandweb.com and I look forward to seeing you at the auction.